Okay, so here are my bags. <sighs> I'm all ready to go. I've got some water on the side as well. But look how well I've managed to pack just one bag. Amazing. Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. So it is currently 4.30 a.m. on the 7th of April. <laughs> Today is the day that I have my hip surgery. Um, I'm up, I'm washed and I'm ready. I'm not waiting for my transport to come pick me up and then the journey begins. Oh, let's do this, let's actually do this. For those that know, know that seven is a complete number in heaven. So I'm just like, God, I need you to do your thing, my guy. I need you to do your thing. So let's go, guys, let's go. Let's see what this journey has in store for me. Um, I'm gonna record as much as I can because I really want you guys to go on this journey with me. Um, so yeah. <sighs> ah! Right, so it is now 6.40. I have just arrived at the hospital, now waiting to be taken to my ward, so, yay! So first of all, I'm really, really happy because I got my own room, yay! So I'm gonna take you guys on a little tour of my um, hospital room, or what I'm gonna call it, my hotel room, <laughs> for my duration. Uh, so let's go. This hospital is so nice. Guys, when I'm telling you this hospital is nice, even the corridors were different. Mad, 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 mad. I even have a couch. I've not been to a hospital where I've had a couch in my room before, honestly. And look at my view. Oh, hopefully I'll be able to see the sun rise. And I've got my own and sweet, on sweet, and sweet, you know what I mean. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh, this is just so great, so, so, so great. It's such a shame that it's a time where there's no visitors because how cool is this? Look, they even have chairs stacked up for when you have visitors. Oh, bro, I am just so happy. Yay! It's 8.25 a.m. I've just seen my surgeon, the anesthetist. I'm first on the list, so I will be going in any moment now. Just have to get ready to get into the lovely gown, you know, you know, the couture um, hospital gown. And then they will come and get me. So, ah! Got my lovely gown on. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Um, I have just been called to theatre. I am the first one in the theatre this morning. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, the next time I record for you guys will be after my surgery. Um, I want to say wish me luck, but you guys won't see this till after. So, huh, but we move. Uh, let's go. It's about 11 at night. Um, my surgery happened quite a while ago now but i've just been in and out since i came to um just got enough energy right now to record this so um i'm glad it's finally happened um the doc did come and speak to me earlier but i don't really remember how that conversation went um so i'll be speaking tomorrow to find out how it all went and um all that um I don't feel great right now i i feel awful um but that's expected i have just had major surgery so i uh, didn't expect any less um but i'm gonna try and get some sleep now and hopefully um the recovery process will be smooth um so yeah that's it for today hey guys it is the 9th of april about 4 20 in the afternoon uh oh my goodness the last two days have been exhausting um <laughs> lack of a better word but so exhausting i haven't slept the last two days i've not been able to sleep the pain has been so crazy i haven't been able to get comfortable um it's only today that um my medication has been changed and doses have been upped that i was able to get a couple of hours of sleep this afternoon so hopefully tonight i'll be able to sleep but i have just been so 
exhausted. Um, the operation went well. Um, he actually said, um, he came to see me yesterday and he said when he went in, my hip was actually worse than they thought. Um, so it took a lot more work for them to, to remove what they wanted to remove. Um, but I have asked him to come and talk to me and do a bit more about that because I can't explain the way that he does. So hopefully he can do that. That would be great. Uh, it's just so crazy how weak my leg is. Um, it just, it literally feels like a foreign object in my own body. Um, I'm really struggling with that actually um, because I'm struggling to, because I can't move it by itself. I have to physically move it for now until the muscles get stronger and obviously the pain is less. Um, but I'm unable to do that so I'm moving to get nurses to help me just to move sides um, and it's crazy to me because I never thought I'd need help just for just to move sides but I, I am needing that help right now um, I guess I I knew it was a big operation but I don't I think even I didn't really realize how serious it was or how big it was and now being on the other side and feeling the aftermath I'm realizing that wow this was actually a big thing um, so yeah it's, it's 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 where i am right now it's definitely um a different um experience being in hospital during a pandemic because i'm so used to having so many visitors i'm actually used to like the hospital complaining saying you've got too many visitors too many people coming in and out whereas right now i'm not allowed any visitors um so for the past two days it's just been me myself and i staring at these four walls uh which is so weird and so odd for me and that like, my family and friends are just blowing up my phone because obviously they're worried about me. They're not able to see me. Um, so it's very, very, it's, it's, it's tougher. It is much tougher because you know, when you get visitors and you get people that come and they cheer you up and even just, you know, for a couple of hours, you can sort of forget, you know, your situation and kind of come off your head for a little bit. So it's definitely a little bit tougher being just here by myself without um, any visitors. Uh, but my friends and family have been so great in keeping excuse me and keeping up with me and just uh, calling me texting me like making sure that I'm okay so I don't feel that far off them it is definitely different than the previous experiences in the sense of previously you know when I'd go into hospitals and have to deal with you know my my leg or whatever else um, I had so many people around me but like my mind my mind was just so broken um, I was alone mentally uh, whereas this time I um, my mind is so strong. I'm alone physically, but mentally, I've got so many people behind me. Like I've got so many. Like, I didn't realize there were so many people that loved me or cared about me. Honestly, I just did not realize it. And you know, the weeks following, pulling up to the operation, people have just been pulling up. You know, people have just been following up on the woodworks and just kind of just being there for me, even right now. Like you know, I've got, you know, so many people are like, okay, let's order you food and simple things like that. It's just it just means the absolute world to me. When the anesthetist came, I really hope I'm pronouncing it right. But those people that put you to sleep and keep you monitored to throw your surgery. Um, so he came to speak to me and see me, and I'd asked him actually if I could see the theatre um, that they will actually be operating me in uh, because they don't put you in there until you're asleep. Um, they put you in their, in their office while they put you to sleep and all that stairs. Um, and he said yes. So I, uh, I actually got to see the theatre before they put me to sleep. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it looks a little bit different to the one that I see on Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> it's... Um, it looked clean so yay for that <laughs> um but it was it was so interesting just seeing all the lights and the equipment and the machine that basically is going to keep me alive um that was pretty interesting so that was a great experience i'm glad that um i, I got to do that i'm glad that i asked because i'm just learning to ask you know what's the worst that can just happen is, is they can say no um but i'm just enjoying um asking things and being surprised by the answers so that was quite a cool experience so i'm going through my clips and i'm realizing that i didn't exactly tell you guys what they did in the operation specifically and um 
I know I'd said that um, I was gonna get my surgeon to sit down and talk to me um, about it and let me record it uh, he really did try but he just got so busy and he's saying that he's gonna try and do a voice recording and send it to me but in the meantime what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do another video explaining it to the best of my ability and I'm also gonna show you the x-rays it is hard for me to explain but I feel like once you see the x-rays the before and after you might be able to better understand what they did basically even though it's really hard right now I'm just so glad to have had the opportunity to have my surgery here like the doctors are absolutely amazing the staff have been great like this other public hospital is the best in the country it's one of only six like it in the world so I feel quite privileged uh, so that really is my decision in saying yes to the operation because I did really trust that they um, they knew what they were doing and um, the doctor that I have definitely has gotten my full full trust so it's definitely uh it's been nice uh experiencing it here um it's day three it's about 10 30 at night um i've just been given a sleeping tablet because i haven't slept since i've been here um the mixture of the pain and just not being able to get comfortable i just can't seem to sleep so i've not had a good night's sleep or gotten in more than just a couple of hours of sleep um so i am tired i am so tired so today they said that we'll try the sleeping pill just for today and see how i get on um because my body just needs to relax like my body just needs to rest like i won't heal if i'm not rested um so i'm hoping that this works um so i'm looking forward to sleeping um i just really hope it works i really hope it works because i need to sleep so yeah that's me done for the day didn't do much today well actually um i did have physio come and visit me today and they managed to sit me on the edge of the bed and get and also stand up which was so hard it was so so hard so painful um but it needed to happen because i was actually starting to lose hope in what you know what my life was going to be like i um the night before i had a meltdown because i was like oh my goodness like i'm never gonna be able to do anything for myself i'm gonna need help all the time uh, just because my leg was just so weak but then i realized like hold on a minute you just had like major surgery it's day seven um post-op which means i've been here for a week because it was this time last week when i had my operation um <laughs> a whole week i'm actually like wow I don't think in my head I sort of thought I'd be here this long. I think in my head I was like quick in and out, but it's not worked out that way. But that was just me being unrealistic because everyone else around me knew except for me. Even my rehab lady came in today and we we're just talking and she was like, Yeah, well, you know, you know, we knew that, you know, it wasn't going to be a quick thing. And I'm nodding, I'm like, mm, Yeah, of course we did, of course, of course. In my head, I'm like, did we though <laughs> so i was just kind of trying to rush myself um again because i think you know <laughs> i don't think i really dipped how big you know this operation was or how invasive it was going to be um so in my head i thought okay five days i'm gone but yeah no a week i'm still here but i'm learning to just be patient with myself i'm learning to trust the process as they say um I'm seeing such great results. Um, the pain is finally being managed well. Um, it's not, <laughs> it's not great, great. Still very painful, but um, they keep explaining to me that with what has happened, I'm expected to be the pain that I'm in. Um, so, I guess that's okay. Um, I'm sitting out today on a sofa, well, sofa, on a chair, um, for the first time. Um, I've got me, Fizi just got me sitting out on this chair now. I'm going to be on here for 30 minutes to begin with. And if I feel up to it, I can go for an hour. But if not, I can go back into bed. Um, just not rushing it again, just kind of taking it as it goes and just actually listening to my body. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's interesting. <laughs> Let me tell you, this hospital experience has humbled me. It has humbled me um it has taught me to just be patient uh even more so <laughs> than before um but i i 
I thought I would be doing more like videos, more like just filming story times or whatever, whatever, whatever. But the medication I'm in is I'm on is so strong that I am pretty much out most of the time. Um, my body is just drained. It is just physically drained. My my eyes I find I find it hard to keep them open to concentrate on anything. Um, so I'm just doing these little videos just day to day just to keep you guys updated so you know how my days are going um, besides being just genuinely unwell and wanting to go home one of the toughest things that I have had to deal with while I'm in here and it's something that I'm always having to deal with with whatever hospital I'm in is nurses sometimes um, <laughs> sometimes most of the time don't believe um, don't believe me when I say I'm in pain um, I always get told that I don't present like somebody who is in pain like well you know you're speaking normally you're not screaming you're not shouting you're you know you're still able to express yourself but they don't understand that when you've been anything with chronic pain for so many years and you've been going through this for so many years you learn you learn to you know to, to, to pick yourself up you learn to you know to talk without screaming to talk without crying because if I cried every single time I was in pain, I would be crying every single day and that's not life to live. And um, they they really struggle together in their heads um, and it's tough to deal with because it's like, what else can I do? Like, what, what, what can I do to show you that I'm in pain? Like, there's nothing else I can do. So I've just learned to just, just kind of ignore it and um, just carry on um, getting on with it. Um, but I'm just so happy because um, the, the biggest reason really why we did this operation was to reduce the pain and um, and we're very 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 hopeful and my surgeons are very hopeful that he's going to do that so I just can't wait to just to not be in you know <sighs> living with chronic pain and just being able to just live free and just not having to explain to people that I'm in pain because I will no longer be in the pain that I was. Um, it's just going to be so freeing. I just can't wait to experience that because I've never experienced that before. So that's going to be so, so different. But I'm just so excited for that. So very excited. It's day 13, which means tomorrow will be two weeks um, since my surgery. Two weeks since I've been in hospital. Um, I didn't think I'd be in this long, but honestly, I have been in this long because I have needed to. I haven't been well enough to go home. Um, I did explain in the previous clips that um, the operation was a lot tougher than they anticipated. My hip was just far worse than they thought, so they had to do so much more. Um, and my muscles also were pulled and turned. It was just, it was just a whole lot. So. The pain has been horrendous um, and unfortunately because I've been living with chronic pain for so long medication just isn't as effective on me. Morphine, the strongest medication, isn't as effective on me because I have been on it for so long. Uh, I'm just looking forward to the day when I can finally be off it all together. Um, but the last few days have been brutal uh, physio wise i've been doing physio every single day it has been tough honestly i can't lie it has been tough but i have been pushing myself because i know that it needs to be done and um my muscles need to get stronger and there's so much that we you know that has to be done to this to this new hip and the leg all together so physio is so important so I've been doing physio every day, which has been taking it out of me. I've been so tired and the medication also has me tired. I'm trying to keep this coming from shaking, but my hands are genuinely shaking because it's just, I'm just a little, a little bit all over the place because of the medication and whatnot. Um, yesterday, yesterday was the craziest of days. So yesterday i had to have an anima if you ever had an anima before you know if you haven't i hope you never have to i had to have an anima and um my body just did not react well to it it did not react well to it my bowels opened which was great but 
it literally felt like my whole body just shut down like i i was sweating i i i uh, i lost the ability to hold my head up my myself up i um my my blood pressure just plummeted um they quickly got me back into bed and my blood pressure just kept going low it my blood pressure was crushing and they check everything my sugars were fine my bloods were fine so i didn't know what was going on but i just think basically that i just think that my body just I had just gone through too much it was just a lot on my body and um i can't even explain it it was crazy and i'm pretty sure i was in and out of consciousness um it got to a point where i was so weak and i could literally feel myself fading away but i was i couldn't even lift a finger to press the call button to call the buzzer um and i think that was the point where i was probably in and out of consciousness and they kept coming in and trying to shake me to wake me up and i was i wasn't that responsive and um and then i began to come to and i could hear them like in the background all freaking out but i was just so weak i it was it was a crazy time um but as the evening went on i did get a little bit better thankfully oh thank god because it was a crazy crazy time um today i woke up still a little bit uh but um better and um the day has gone okay i wasn't able to have as much physio because my body is just still so weak from yesterday's ordeal um but um we move we soldier on uh because i know that the finish line is so near and <laughs> it's far though but it's near but when i get there it's just gonna be so worth it it's all gonna be so worth it and ah uh, i can't wait to go home and have a proper meal and sleep in my bed as it stands right now tomorrow i'm going home so if everything um is set in place uh so basically um there a referral was made to my local town where I live um, to get a care package put in place together for me so basically to get people to come in to be helping me because I still require some help uh, so for a few weeks a number of weeks I'm gonna need some help until I fully you know I'm I get a little bit more stronger but every day I am getting stronger which is which is so exciting for me because I'm like oh my goodness I can't wait to see what I'm gonna be like when I'm fully healed because you know I'm not fully healed I'm not even I'm not even close to fully healed yet but already I feel like my leg is doing so well so if tomorrow they come back and say yeah everything's set up I basically go home which is great I'm so excited and I think that's where partly most of my, my good mood for today has come from is the fact that I actually could be going home and, and well as it stands i am going home tomorrow um so i just thought i'd come in to you know and just uh share that with you guys today well obviously you won't see until everything is done and i'm probably i'm probably gonna be home by then anyway right now as you can see i'm recording hands free because i've actually been able to set up my my system whereas the other days I, I hadn't been able to um i can't do it for long right now though because i've been sitting uh, and I can already feel my leg like starting to throb so I need to be as quick as I can and lay back down and relax and actually sleep because it is actually quite late uh, but I'm doing a little face mask I'm just like since I'm getting ready to go home I'm just gonna do a little face mask you know just so when I begin to see people they just you know know that I was you know I must have, might have been in the hospital but I'm still okay uh, so I'm doing a little face mask. It's literally just a simple face mask. I tend to do more um, like you know the face masks that you get in pots that you 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 put on your face and let them dry and then you 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 wash them away sort of thing. But if something in hospital, uh, it's not very it's not really realistic or ideal. And um, so I literally came with one of these, and I've literally only ever put on one of these this face mask like once so this will be my second time trying to do this so we're gonna find out how this works and because obviously i'm not very you know um i don't use them that much i just got a simples one because from what i hear you can't go wrong with simples so i used to use simples quite a lot um when i was younger so i it did my skin great so i'm gonna try and open it up and see if i can get it on my face God is so moist. 
I wonder if it's that's the point because it's meant to moisturize your skin and whatnot. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be so funny. I don't know what I'm doing right now. <sighs> Will I actually be able to get this on my face? I don't know, guys. I actually do not know if I will be able to get this on my face. Okay, no, we can do this. We can do it. Look how moisture moisturizing it is literally in my hands and also guys i don't want you to think that i'm wearing the same day in clothes just to let you know they have a washing machine and a tumble dryer so they've been washing my my nighties for me so don't be thinking oh my goodness she's been wearing like we've seen you you know we've seen you film um with a nighty you know like from day five or whatever uh just know that it's all been washed uh, which is like so so great because it just makes life so much easier because obviously i've been here longer than i thought so i didn't come in with um <sighs> more than i <laughs> okay here we go mm. <laughs> oh my goodness guys this is how it works i feel like okay okay I feel like if a nurse walks in right now, we're gonna be so confused as to what Norm is doing. They might think I've lost my mind a little bit. <laughs> but I just thought, I'm just doing, you know, a little face mask just to, you know, to just give my skin just a little, ooh, you know, just a little, ooh. And I've been seeing, like, oh, <laughs> and obviously because the world is open now, I'm seeing everyone going out, living their best lives, doing the most. <gasps> I cannot wait to go out and be able to do my nails, do my eyebrows, do my hair, do my lashes. Listen, I just cannot wait to go home, heal up quickly, hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, but I'm not going to rush myself and be able to dress up and go out you know just go out for a meal with the girls or just take myself on a date like i just genuinely genuinely cannot wait okay i feel like i've got it on right um let's see how long i'm supposed to have it on for hmm. <laughs> 15 minutes 15 minutes listen okay i mean i'm gonna try but whew, your girl needs to lie back down soon but i'll keep it on for as long as i possibly can uh but oh my goodness it is so moisturizing um does this mean i'm gonna wake up tomorrow and my skin is gonna be like oh do you reckon i'm gonna leave the hospital and people aren't gonna believe that I was in hospital because I'm just gonna be looking so good. Like my skin is just gonna be just so popping. Oh my goodness. That's that's the hope, that's the plan. So obviously my plus is Vaseline. I told you guys you can't go anywhere without Vaseline, like there's no excuse for dry lips. So while my skin is getting its moisture, the lips must too. So we're just gonna oh <laughs> moisturize the lips, child. I literally can hear the nurses walking walking by. I hope they're not gonna come in here thinking like I'm going crazy. They might just think I'm on the phone because I've spent so much time on the phone when I'm able to. <laughs> so they're probably just thinking, oh she's on the phone again. Oh my goodness, guys, yesterday I literally had the best conversation with my night nurse. Like, <laughs> it was the first time I met her. She had come back from maternity leave. She was just the best. Like, we had the best conversation. Like, I literally had not laughed that hard since I've been here, or at all, really, the whole, through this whole experience. Like, it was, she was just so amazing. She was just so funny. Um, we just had like a good good just belly laugh and it was just so so good um, 
Okay, let me just adjust my leg a little bit because it is actually doing the most right now. But oh, it's cool, it's okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. Um, guys, you see how beautiful this background is? It is so, so, so pretty, so, so pretty. Um, wait, have I do, have I done this right? Because I feel like there should be like more under my eyes here, no? I don't know. Oh, I've got. Do you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna need you guys to let me know in the comments if I've done this right. Like I said, it's only my second time putting a shit mask on. The first time my cousin did it, so but I have to get one because I just thought it's since I'm in the hospital, it's more convenient than the ones that I usually use. Um, but what else can I share with you guys? Oh, I have this. Um, I've needed this. Oh, see if I can lift it without breaking it this Dyson fan that I literally had to have on every single day because it is so warm it is literally so so warm in here um, um what else can I share with you guys I'm so oh do you know one thing that I'm actually really sad about to be leaving is the physio like the physio has actually been so so great the girls that I do the girls the ladies that I do my physio with they're just absolutely amazing they've been so great been so patient with me and like all the equipment that they have that they use for the physio obviously I'm not gonna have at home they have shown me you know what I need to do and give me things that will help me but I'm actually a little bit sad to be leaving all the equipment that they have because it has literally made such a big difference and um honestly like when i tell you that like i told you like in the previous clips that i literally had a freak out because i was like oh my goodness my leg is not gonna be able to do anything but when i tell you that like, my leg has gotten so much stronger the things that's able to do now i didn't think was possible which makes me so excited to see what else is possible but um i've already said that so just excuse me if i repeat myself on anything because that's the thing about like when i'm recording like like daily different clips sometimes you forget what you've already said so if i repeat myself just 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 keep it moving don't worry about it don't worry about it just keep it moving um but yeah guys that's my update um that is my update uh <sighs> i can't wait to go home i just can't wait to be in my own bed uh i'm a little bit worried though obviously because i'm like oh you know i've got so much help here but the good thing is i am um, going to get help when i go home like i said there's gonna be a package that's put together so i'm gonna have people that are gonna be helping me uh for a few weeks until i'm able to do you know to basically help myself so that's reassuring um that's definitely reassuring uh oh i just can't wait to go i mean just <laughs> and have good food and just have like real good food i'm so excited for that but anyway guys this clip is now 15 minutes long which is too long which i guess this means i can take this mask off now so let's take this mask off and see if my skin is glowing if it's not then child i don't know Glow skin glow. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna lay down now, and from what I understand, you just leave it on and just let it soak into your skin. Um, massage to absorb the excess product into your skin. Um, do you need to? Yeah, mm, just massage. Just give my head a little massage. Oh, this gets all in my neck. Don't ever forget your neck, girls. Oh, guys, whatever floats your boat. Uh, as always, because skincare is for everybody. So, don't forget your neck. Okay, okay. I really thought it was important for me to film this clip. I'm feeling better, and you know, in the in the good spirits that i am because i don't want this whole you know um hospital vlog to just be a downer 
because it hasn't been a downer it has been tough and it has been it has had down moments but um the the uh, the the improvements that i'm seeing within myself have just made me so happy and honestly it's just been great so yeah um <laughs> i mean i girl my skin is just glowing or whatever it's like where oh my goodness it's day 19 and i've just received word that i'm going home finally thank you god oh my goodness i'm going home i'm going home ah oh, i can't wait to be in my house i can't wait to be in my bed i just can't wait to be around my own space i just care not wait oh my goodness i'm going home ah <laughs> I am home. I'm currently sitting on my sofa at home. After 19, 19, 20, 19 days, I am home. I am happy. I am just so glad. And uh, the real journey of healing begins now. But I think it's just, it's always better to be at home. You heal so much better at home. Um, Mama's going to cook me some food. Mama has gone to cook me some food. So I'm going to have a belly full of food tonight. I'm so happy. Ah, so yeah, I'm going to just, I'm just taking some meds because yo, that journey was brutal. And I think I'm going to need to have a little nap. Um, and yeah, I'm home. Ah, thank you, God. Yes. I've been home for two days. Uh, it has definitely been an adjustment, um, but it's so good to be home. It is so good to be in my own bed, in my own space, just my own environment. I really honestly believe that you heal so much quicker when you're around you know, your own environment. So I'm so happy about that. Um, it's been tough. I've had to have something that I've never ever had to have before, even in my previous search. So anything else that you know I've had gone wrong, um, I'm having to have carers come in to help me um, because I'm just not able to do what I, you know, what I was able to to do right now. So for a couple of weeks, I'm gonna be needing help, which I'm having, which has taken a lot for me to accept to have. Uh, but I mean, I've had no choice because you grow struggling. But every day I'm seeing improvements, like every single day. So I'm just honestly just cannot wait for the future. But for now, I am just going to chill. I have a habit of rushing myself and everyone around me keeps saying to me, just this time you've got to chill. This has been something crazy and you can't risk going backwards, which is so true. So I'm gonna take some time, I'm gonna chill. So this is going to be, um, the last few you're gonna hear from me for a while because I'm really gonna take some time to to heal. So maybe for about a month you won't hear from me, but just know that I'm okay. I'm doing great. Uh, all is well. Thank you so much for watching this hospital vlog. I hope that um, I don't say enjoyed it, but I don't know if it's something that's enjoyable or whatever. But I just hope it was informative. I hope that you've enjoyed me taking you on this journey with me. Uh, so thank you so much for taking the time out, and I will see you guys very very soon. Bye guys.